And just like that, the worldwide terror alert that closed embassies, ruined travel plans, and scared the bejeebus out of all of us is over. Yemen claims to have foiled the terrorist plot, but we learned a lot from the glorified fire drill. We learned that the government of Yemen is our ally in the fight against terror, which explains why they don't raise a fuss when we send drones into their airspace to take out suspected terrorists. We learned that claims of the death of Al-Qaeda were greatly exaggerated. They just moved out of Iraq and Afghanistan and set up shop elsewhere. We learned that the new number one in Al-Qaeda was released from Guantanamo, as some find it reprehensible to hold suspected terrorists without due process, but perfectly fine to kill suspected terrorists in drone strikes without due process. And we learned for the first time seemingly every bit of intelligence that led to this terror alert. Back-channel conversations between Al-Qaeda operatives were leaked to the media, which is reprehensible because now those back channels will be shut down. Whoever leaked that information hurt national security. So we prosecute Bradley Manning and chase Edward Snowden, but what about the people who leak this classified information? Where is the effort to find and prosecute them? Don't hold your breath, because I believe the government wanted this information out. So when this hyped up terror alert is used in defense of the NSA surveillance program and in defense of an increase in the intelligence budget, well, then I guess we will have learned something else. I'm Larry Menti.